Everyone, we're here on V Chess playing Balaclava Chess. Uh, Mike and I have actually played this once before, but this, uh, we played it slightly different because we played it over the board. This is one of the few variants uh, that I messaged the V Chess creator and was like, this variant is always fun, and he put this variant on the website. So I'm very happy about that, and it's a pretty interesting game. So pieces can also move as a knight. The knight is replaced by mammoth. So we have a new mammoth piece. Um, but in addition to their usual their usual abilities, pawns and non-royal pieces, everything except the king, may make non-capturing knight moves. Um, the new piece, instead of the knight, is a mammoth. It leaps two squares in any direction. I've sent a challenge to you, and I'm ready to go. So you get the mammoth, it moves two in any direction, um, and makes non cap so those are two non capturing knight moves, those are the two. Alright, let's see what we can do here. So everything that's not a king can make a non capturing knight move. The pawns, um, a pawn cannot promote with a knight move, and there's no on percent capture. Yes, indeed. Oh, you know what I learned the other day? Hmm. Frogs like to uh I don't put this delicately. <laughs> Frogs like to just hang out in drains because it makes their croaks sound big and the ladies love big croaks. <laughs> Like, Hall and I always, there's a, there's a particular grocery store that we go to, and every time we go, we pass a, like a drain pipe. And uh, it just so happens that uh, every time we pass this drain pipe, we look in, and there's a frog. And I brought it up to one of the, one of the biology teachers at the school and learned a new fact. I just thought it was like, hey, you know, it's probably like a cool, cooler than just like sitting out in the sun. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I would want a big croak if I was a frog. Oh, yeah, boy. We have uh, out or more owls than normal, I think, near us. We, I've always had like. Oh, really? Um, I was here for you. Mike and I have been going on walks a lot too, so maybe we just heard him more. But yeah, yeah, that could be good. Yeah, Mike and I played this over the board. We didn't have the mammoth piece; we just had a knight piece. We've only played it once. Uh, so this is the first uh, <clears throat> first version of this, and we're gonna play nine sixty. Pin or skewer. Sure one. Uh. 
Been working more on my scales. I don't know if I told her that. I mean, it's kind of nice. I stopped for a little bit, but So, remind me again why I'm not able to capture. You can't capture with, with your my, bishop? With my mammoth, in that case? Oh, because it, it can move, it can only make non-capturing moves like a knight. It, uh... Ah, uh -huh, okay. All the other moves are capturing moves. So it can move two, but not the knight, like the opposite of a knight move, pretty much. Always a pleasure. Indeed. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, what is it? All right, I guess. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, you did. Okay, yeah, the memes I sent you last night. <laughs> yeah, I like that Garfield one. To learn who oh, rolls yeah. over you. <laughs> yeah, that was so so fucking clever. Been using less night moves than I was than I would imagine. Oh yeah, I I told you, like, briefly about the Cobra incident. Cobra. Yeah, that shit was wild. The Cobra incident? Yeah, man. So, uh, Alma and I yesterday go on a hike. And we, we, it was really hot. It was, like, maybe 90 degrees with, like, but it felt like 95. And it's so, like, super humid, super hot. Like, way hotter than it has been recently. So we, we get, like, maybe halfway through the hike, and we're just, like, both dying. 
to way just like so much hotter than it has been recently again and uh so we decided to like sit down eat, eat some of the snacks that we brought with us and like drink some water rest for like 10 minutes and we're sitting on these steps of the shade and almost like oh my god what is that and uh <laughs> I was like, oh, I like look up and it turns out, right, that it is, there's like a snake a couple stairs below us and it slithers, we, we only see it like, it was enough, enough stairs below us that we couldn't quite, um, couldn't quite uh, like make out which oh weird I definitely didn't mean to move that fucking pawn there um (laughs) we didn't really make out like like what type of what type of snake it was or anything and so So Alma, Alma's like real freaked out. She's not a fan of snakes. And it was like a pretty big snake. It was um maybe about the size, like if you touch your middle finger to your thumb, it was about that thick and maybe like a meter long. Like a good like four feet, basically. And uh So, we uh, almost like I don't, I don't, I don't want to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck these snakes on these motherfucking planes. So we like turn around. And we we wait for the snake to to like get off that step. It takes like two minutes. We we go back down, and uh, we're ge- we're getting towards the bottom where we first got on the trailhead and we hear a rustling and I look and there's this lo- another long black snake and we're like, ah, oh. I'm like, whoa, awesome. I was like really, really super freaked out at this point. <laughs> and, um, I'm a super freaked out and, but I, I'm like trying to get good video footage and like a nice picture because we weren't really able to see this other snake earlier on very well. Mm-hmm. And like, I've been telling Alma for months, like, man, we've seen everything, but we haven't seen snakes yet. <laughs> I'm still, why, why I feel like every time. So why can't I take your queen right now? Because it, it doesn't capture like a knight. It only moves like a knight. Okay. Uh, but when I was further up, it was going to let me take two pawns on knight captures. Uh, I don't know how to tell you. I it's probably... It. I mean, it might have shown it, but I don't know if it would have let you. All right, let's find out for the sake of finding out. Um... I mean, and so, uh, so I'm taking this. I'm taking a video, uh, and I like finish taking this video, and I'm trying to get a little bit closer to take a picture. And this motherfucking snake, yo, uh, fla- It was it was it was a Chinese cobra. It flared its hood at me. I was like, oh fuck. Getting out of here. Is there a reason why you moved your mammoth there? Well, I should now. Oh, you know, no, it's just me not paying attention because I was telling a story. All right. Do you want to? I mean, I'm fucked anyway. I'm not fucked anyway in this match. And there's no take backs or anything, so.
but it was crazy. I was uh, was not expecting to see a, a cobra. I was just walking, and someone was like, "Did you see the snake?" And I was like, "No." And they're like, "Well, if you just walked in the street, there's a there's this big the biggest snake you've ever seen down there." And I was just like, "Uh, <laughs> all right." But I never never ended up seeing it, and I was just kind of like wary of my entire walk. So that was Balaclava Chess. We'll be playing more of it and a 960 versions of it. Um, first time playing here. Playing it on VChess. Post the rules and links below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.